All right. My name is Jack Johnson. This is uh, Brandon Barr. We're both firefighters for uh, Paraland Fire Department. Uh, we're basically going to have Brandon get dressed here and uh, kind of explain what the gear does, what it protects us from, and uh, why we use it. Go ahead, Brandon. What he's doing right now is uh, he's going to put his pants on. Our pants are tucked inside of our boots, mainly for speed. Uh, we have to be able to get dressed in a minute, in a minute and a half. So um, we keep our pants tucked inside of our boots. Uh, our boots are just basic leather boots with a, a steel, a steel sole, metal plate, and a steel toe shoe to protect us from uh, anything that might fall. Uh, our pants are made of three, three, uh, three layers. We have an outer shell here, which is what you see, and inside here we have a moisture barrier and a, a thermal barrier that helps protect us from water being absorbed in and then uh, the heat as well uh, also we have suspenders because once the air gets wet uh, it gets heavier uh, we also carry tools in both these pockets for various things so this kind of helps keep our pants uh, pants from falling down as well um, next brandon's got the nomex hood here this is uh, obviously going to protect our uh, our necks and our ears from uh, any any fire exposure uh, heat, heat mainly. Uh, the heat ri heat rises, so as we go into the buildings, uh, if we forget to get down, things like that. This is where we'll start to feel a lot of our heat from. Right, next. next, the uh, bunker coat, basically the same design as our uh, bunker pants. It has uh, the outer shell, which is this outside here. It's got this uh, moisture barrier right here. And then his, this is the, the thermal barrier right here that protects us from the heat. Uh, we've got several different ways we secure the jacket. On, on, on this particular jacket, we have just the, the basic, your basic zipper with a flap that goes over and, uh, and it secures it that way. And then we also have, to kind of help expose our neck area, we have uh, our chin strap there that protects us from that. Next here's uh, it's called our SCBA mask. This is what separates uh, basically the good air from the bad air. So Brandon's going to put that on for us. It's got a netting on the back with straps that we can tighten it up to uh, obtain a seal. We also have a voice amp on there. When we put this mask on, it's very hard to hear, especially when we're trying to talk on a radio. So uh, we, we can turn that voice amp on and it magnifies our voice so uh, uh, civilians or uh, our own guys can hear us hear us talk. And then he'll pull his, uh, that Nomex hood up over his mask to, uh, to help cover up the ears and the top of his head and protect us from, uh, from all the heat. He'll do his, he'll, he'll, he'll fasten his uh, neck strap to help uh, protect his, uh, his neck right here from anything falling from any type of debris might fall down up under there. Uh, next we have right here, this is uh, our SCBA, it's self-contained breathing apparatus, and we have a 30 minute uh, bottle of, uh, of air on there. Uh, these come in different sizes. We might get 15 minutes or 20 minutes of actual hard work. Uh, if you're just standing there, we might be able to get a little bit more, but. And our SCBA has got several different things. Um, it has an integrated pass alarm, per personal alert safety to system and uh, it basically detects no movement if we quit moving 30 seconds it'll start to chirp and then if you don't move after that it'll go into full alarm it'll make a real loud noise basically warning uh, the guys outside or the guys inside with them that hey this firefighter hasn't moved uh, something's wrong we need to uh, to get them get a hold of them on the radio uh, and it's also got a built-in gauge here and a built-in gauge on the regulator so we can uh, kind of see where our air supply is at. Uh, so if we go into a big store like Home Depot, we know, hey, if it takes us half, half of a bottle to get in, we need at least a half a bottle to get back out. So uh, we kind of keep track of our air that way. Uh, next is, uh, of course, our helmet. And it's, uh, it's made of fiberglass. It's got a fiberglass shield here. And then it's also got a Nomex uh, uh, ear flap to help protect more uh, of that heat. And then it's also got an adjustable fit here for, for uh, different size uh, heads.
he'll put that on he'll sense the strap obviously this is going to protect us from anything that might fall uh, a lot of times we go inside we'll pull sheetrock down to expose fire uh, hidden fires uh, this protects us from that uh, anything that might fall sometimes uh, climbing a ladder we might experience uh, someone might drop drop a tool from a ladder on accident and uh, that will help protect us as well uh, the last thing Brandon's going to put on in his gloves we call these gauntlet gloves because of the uh, the extra sleeve here this helps go over Brandon's cuff and uh, basically and once he once he puts that on he's going to cinch it down and that that protects that, that that wrist and that hand from uh, falling any type of falling debris won't tuck up up under there and uh, burn them and once uh, this is this is what he looks like completely dressed um, and we'll go ahead and we'll turn the bottle on that vibrate that vibration you heard when the bottle gets to one quarter of a tank or lower that'll start to vibrate his face mask basically alerting him hey you're running low on air we might want to think about getting out um, or uh, trying to complete our task and getting out something like that and then the beeps we heard all those all those beeps right there that's basically telling you that the system is activated the pass along that I was telling you earlier and that uh, it is working when you turn the air bottle on and uh, that, that's that's pretty much how that works and that that's that uh, alerting device if we quit moving it will uh, it will chirp real loud and that uh, that noise right there that's what basically says hey this firefighter's not moving uh, what's wrong with him and then when it does that that's the full that's the full alert that basically tells us hey this firefighter's not moving he's in full alarm uh, it could be by accident but they'll know to uh, reach him on the radio and uh, he can either say active, accidental activation uh, or something like that and then clear the code and everything's fine so uh, but this is what he looks like all dressed up and of course uh, we'll click in when we click in this is our regulator and then now we have about 30 minutes worth of air unless we start working real hard and then uh, maybe 15 minutes and this is what we uh, this is what we're going to look like when we go inside to fight a fire